<clears throat> welcome all, welcome back at C squared. In this example, we will do what is called a polynomial regression uh, of uh, this uh, table. This table shows us uh, the speed as x, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and the stopping distance um, as on y. And the first thing we need to do is to draw a scatter plot. For that reason, I'm going to use an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and uh, on an Excel spreadsheet, uh, you open an Excel and then you type in your number like I did here, as you notice. Uh, you, you notice the X's, the Y's. Uh, double check to be sure you have them. Uh, then uh, the next thing you want to look for in your Excel spreadsheet is this icon. It's on the main page where the insert is. And then you're going to click on this scatter plot. Pretty simple in my opinion to get this scatter plot which you see it here. Let me erase the ink on the uh, slide. This is the scatter plot using an Excel spreadsheet. Every single point here, this is 10 and 15.1 and this is 20 and 39.9. Uh, I'm sorry, 20, 30 and whatever, 40 and 50. You see these five points using an Excel spreadsheet. Now we're going to find what is called a quadratic regression model. Uh, you can do the same thing for a cubic regression model or any other degree. Usually I start with a quadratic, the smallest degree instead of a linear um, regression, but uh, sometimes you may need cubic or larger degree of polynomials. So let's take a look. This is the, uh, if you remember, the uh, scatter plot. Now my next thing will be to activate one of the points you just right click or click on the points and you see they are activated. And then when you do the right click, you can see this choice and choose the last one, not the last one, in fact, one of the last one, which is add a trend line. Well, you'll see it is not gonna be a trend line. You click on that and then you have these choices and by default, Excel spreadsheet has the linear already picked, but you see the next one is polynomial. Like I said, we're going to go with polynomial. And you already see here, it says an order. Once you click on the polynomial, you can change the degrees. And by default, I have the degree two, but like I said, you can do degree three, degree four, and so on. Once you do this degree two, you notice uh, Excel find the curves that fits the data very nice. It goes through every single point. That's not the case most of the time. Most of the time you will have points up and down uh, around the curve that is given by the Excel spreadsheet. But in this case, we get the exact curve, which is good. You can scroll down and uh, on that uh, choice where you have the trend line and you can pick dispend, uh, display an equation and display an R square, which are two important things in uh, this problem and generally if you want to do this regression. And once you do that, you notice you can get an equation and R square. In this case, if you notice, R square is one. Yes, uh, like I said, we found a curve, uh, a curve uh, Excel found a curve that exactly fits this data. Not all the time you're gonna get that. And this is the equation. That's the equation we're gonna need for the next part of our problem. Y equal, copy this guy, it's gonna be handy. 0 0.0509 x squared plus 0 0.970 6x plus 0.26. I will suggest you to copy that equation. Uh, this is the quadratic that fits this data. 
On part C, it says superimpose the regression curve on the scatter plot. We already did that at the beginning. And now we can move to uh, part D, where we're going to use the equation I, we just have it. And uh, we're going to predict the stopping distance for a vehicle traveling at 25 miles per hour. So we're going to have here uh, y equal, if you remember. We have point zero five zero nine x square plus point nine seven zero six x plus point twenty six and what do you have to do here you just make x equals twenty five you see x is this guy miles per hour so you get the speed you want to find the distance so we're going to get y equals point zero five zero nine times 25 square plus point nine seven zero six times 25 plus zero point twenty six depends on your calculator um, you may have a ti 83 84 or more better or just a simple TI30X S, I have one like this. You just put in the calculator exactly like this and you end up with an answer. Uh, I end up with this answer Y equals 56.3375. And these are fit. So if a vehicle is traveled with 25 miles per hour, it needs around 56 feet to stop, which kind of makes sense. 25 feet somewhere here between 20 and 30. Yeah, it should be something between 39 and 75. You may want to check uh, if your answer is reasonable. Okay, so on the next part, let me erase here this uh, part and write it again somewhere else. Uh, so we end up here with y equal, like I said, 56.3375 feet. Okay. And on the last part of this problem, you need to find the speed. Uh, will this regression model pred predict if the stopping distance is 300 feet? So if you have 300 feet here, if the y is 300, how much is x? So basically now we're going to use this model we have here. And we're going to replace y with 300. So we're going to have 300 equals 0.0509 x squared plus 0.9706 x plus Point twenty six. This is a quadratic equation. is very unfriendly, but is a quadratic equation. My first thing would be to make it equals to zero on the left side by subtracting three hundred, and we end up with this quadratic equation. Uh, as you know, we can switch the side. Uh, if a equals b, b equals a. Uh, this equality is uh, symmetrical. So we have 0 0.0509 x squared plus 0 0.9706 x. And now we have here minus uh, 299.74 equals 0. How do I solve this quadratic equation? I uh, will use the quadratic formula. And I'm going to start with the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. That will be uh, 0.9706 squared minus 4 times 0 0.0509 times negative 299.74. Uh, doing all this calculation in a uh, regular calculator, I end up with this value 
or b squared minus 4ac. In fact, I can put a couple more decimal. 204 and then 72.79. And obviously you can keep that in your calculator if you want to be super accurate. Now we can move to the next part. And if you remember in the quadratic formula, we have x equals negative b plus or minus this discriminant b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, and uh, what do we get here? The uh, negative b will be uh, negative 0 0.9, the 706 plus or minus, we take square root of that 7.87, uh, let me put it like that. I'm not going to cut all the decimal, over 2a2 times a is um, 0 0.059. Okay, again, it's not a very friendly one, but it's not that bad. And now, I'm, obviously, if you take a look, we don't need a plus and minus, because the minus doesn't make sense. We're going to just use the plus. So we have negative 0 0.9706 plus square root of 7.87. This is the one we need over 2 times 0 0.050. Now, doing this calculation, I end up with an x of 67.794. What is that? The uh, x, the speed. Okay, so does it make sense? Again, I think it's good to take a look and put it in the table, kind of. So if the speed is around 67 miles per hour, the stopping distance is 300 feet. We should expect something like that. It does make sense. Uh, if you enjoyed this example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.